Put your hands together for ACAG hey. Productions. Hey. We're ready. Hey. Yeah. Hey. We're ready. We're ready. Good afternoon, hey. ACAG hey. Production. Hey. Reaching for the dog. Don't hey. stop. Just get ready to have a good time. In the night jam. Are you ready? Mama, sister, brother. Just want to have some fun. Well, good afternoon, AC, for AC Fun Time. Sitting here with co-host Elder Carly Town and our return guest, Mr. Julian Chisholm. Last week, we had a very exciting discussion. Today, we're going to talk about the three enemies that meet you at the door. Perception. Emotion, processing information. Mr. Julian Chisholm, should I start with you or should I start with Elder College Town? Before we do that, I'd just like to bring to your attention, uh, we visited uh, Father to Father last night and it was very interesting as to what they discussed some of the, and we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll just get started and we'll, we'll talk about some of the things that they talk about and how important it is to know how to process information and understand that most of us live out of perception. Now, the college town, last week we went into talking about going within. Uh, let's talk a little about going within because it has a lot to do with processing information and perception. Talk a little about going within. What do you mean last week when you mentioned going within and you said that we have rights? Talk about all that. I know you didn't have much time last week to really get into it, so do so now. Yes, well, when I speak of going within, it's similar to what um, Minister Chisholm has said. We have to look at the man in the mirror, and we have to be the change that we want to see in the world. You know, we want other people to change, but are we willing to take um, the opportunity to check ourselves out through prayer and meditation? Sometimes we just have to be silent, sit back, and listen. Listen, because God speaks to us. But we are so busy. So that's what I mean by going within, listening. Even the birds and the bees can tell you something. You know. Great. Thank you, Elder College Town. I'm, I, are you finished? No, I'm finished. Go ahead. I okay, I didn't mean to snatch the I didn't mean I didn't mean to snatch the mic, but you I mean we you know, the show's a half hour long. So, so when you pause, you know, I snatch that mic, you know. Time, time is money. Uh Minister Chisholm, you know, we're gonna come back to you because uh you, you're more of a spiritual man and you come from a spiritual standpoint a lot of times. So, you know, the scripture teaches us that Many are called, only a few is chosen. And let's talk about that. What do you mean, what does it mean when we said that many are called, but only a few is chosen? Well, what I had mentioned in terms of the, uh, that particular passage, you know, in the Bible where, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. What it is, is, you know, I heard it said, and I, and I do believe it, it's all are called, but few choose. Few of us choose to go down that particular path in which has been set out for us. And as you were mentioning in terms of perception, I mean, what holds us back, you know, from actually doing the thing that is inside of us? What holds us back? And a lot of times what holds us back is, as Elder Kali mentioned, it's from not knowing who we are within. I mean, I mean, everyone has a name. Yeah, my name is uh, John Paul or my name is Betty Wright, you know, and, you know, I work and I live over here, you know, I drive a Mercedes, you know, you know, I got about a million in the bank, you know, but that's not who you are. That's not who you are. And we have the incorrect, and I, and I say incorrect instructively because we all are going to have our perception, yeah. but we're not the stuff. We're greater than the stuff. Yeah. You know, it's like you were talking a little while ago concerning the uh, father to father and you had shared with me about the different setting, you know. I mean, there's nothing can take us out of our, out of our state of, of being our except we allow it. Okay, I like let's that. talk about some of the things that uh, the audience can really identify with and that's relationship because in relationship uh, we deal with perceptions, uh, we deal with processing information and we deal with our emotions and you know a lot of us are living out of our emotion and it causes problems. We think we know and we don't know that we don't know. And the reason that we don't know because we have not taken the time to process the information correctly and this brings on chaos 
in the relationship, in the community. So let's talk a little about that. Elder Collie Town, would you like to start off? Yeah, I'd like to start off with that, especially with, about relationship. And I find, and as I, you know, matriculate through the system of life, I find that um, to recap stuff, and I learned that a lot really from Minister Chisholm, that if somebody doesn't get what you're saying, repeat it and ask them, did you understand what I'm saying? That way, everybody gets a clear understanding of what each other is saying. So a lot of times we don't want to do that because we got ego, you know, the big fat ego. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to ask him that again. But if we sit back and think about it, how many times have you started to say something and you found that well, maybe I shouldn't say this because it wasn't very nice? You just sit back and you say, no, I'm not going to say that. So sometimes we just have to sit back and listen to that person because they're trying to tell you something. And all we need to do, we learn, we need to learn to listen more. Thank you, Elder Carly Town. Minister Chisholm, I'm coming back to you because earlier today we talked about the fact that, you know, a lot of times uh, we got that stubborn pride and we feel like I don't have to do this. I raise up like this. Just this is the way I am. I, my, my daddy been like this. But the question is, the way you are, will it get you what you really want? And do you really know what you want? Talk to me about, do you really know what you want? And how is it that you're going to get what you want? By being this guy that you said your father was and you've always been because you tough and you from the hood. What does it get you? Well, it, it doesn't get us much, you know. And one thing I like to say, when you said what you just said concerning how we were raised and different information and perceptions that we have developed inside of our system, you have to consider this. All right? The mind is dysfunctional. It, it is totally dysfunctional. It does not know how to do anything correctly. The only way the mind will do anything correctly is when it is a given instructions author. It has to have been given instructions. And I think I mentioned it uh, earlier. It's like spirit, you know, we're spirit beings. Yeah. Spirit controls matter. God breathed breath into a man, okay, into a, you know, a body, okay, mm -hmm. which was basically clay, dust. Mm -hmm. And he became a living soul, okay? Mm -hmm. But you got to remember, even in the course of that, here it is the active spirit of God that is controlling matter. Well, we have to step back, take a look at our mind, mm -hmm. and know that. And I, Arthur, I need to say this, okay? The Bible actually talks about in uh, Romans, in the, uh, the eighth chapter around the sixth verse, it says the mind is an enemy of God. The mind can't serve God. And John 4 and 24 says they that worship God must worship him in spirit and truth. But, I mean, take all that, put it aside. The, the thing is we have to know who we are in order to get free from those particular things that you just mentioned. To set us free, we have to go within, and we have to know who we are. But if we don't know who we are, we're spirit beings, and we're going to keep repeating the same thing over and over. And one last thing, Arthur, when you think about the spirit, you can do anything you choose to do. You can complain. You can hurt people. You can go out and, and steal from people. You can do anything you choose. But just imagine that you took the opportunity to choose what you were going to do. I choose to love you. That's awesome. So here's, let me tell you what I'm hearing here. I'm processing as I listen. You're saying that we are spirit beings, but a lot of people out here don't really know who you are. And you're thinking that you're flesh. So the flesh speaks to you and the flesh is an enemy to the one that made you. So the spirit man, which who you really are, does not have a chance to occupy and bring presently mm. what you really mm. want out of life. Mm. The enemy, which is your flesh, yes. gives you false perception. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, that's what we are talking about Ooh. today. Perception, mm. processing information. Ooh. Mm. Elder Kali Tang, I'm hot in here. And I also what think that it, we have to, to, to think a little differently. We have to think a little differently. And it says that if you keep you continue to do this, think the same things, you'll get the same results. So we have to reimagine mm. what we need to do in our communities. Mm. We have to recreate. Mm. We have to look at design and story and narrative, mm. empathy mm. and compassion. Mm. Those are the things that, that I think that we need to do in order to get where we need to go. Hold tight. Stay tuned. We'll be right back 
we're going to break for a little taste of honey. And we'll tell you later on what honey stands for. Who ran out the back door with Jesus' sandwich? It wasn't me, though. Who ran out the back door? It wasn't me, I promise. For those of you who don't know, I am Courtney the Poet. And tonight we are here for the wonderful Misty. I have been watching this young lady do her thing, touch open mic, for open mic, for open mic for years. She tried to get me to come to Zumba. Obviously, I have not attended classes. But you know what they say? Him say he's not himself a big girl. So that's all that really matters. But tonight we are here to have a good time, y'all. For those of you who don't know, we got, a, we got an amazing band behind us. Missy brought up the lights camera, and I want to start for action. We got a few people we got to shout out tonight. There's a lot of special people in the building. Shout out to All Natural in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to All Star Cousins in the building. BCM Recording Studios in the building. Come, we got to show everybody some love. I heard, I heard T-Mobile in the building. clean secular music as a tool to win those that would have never gone to church 
would have never had the opportunity to hear the gospel because music is a universal language which is everyone is able to communicate and identify with and because I'm from the street and I can very much understand some of them and meet them where they are. You remember when you were a little boy, you were a small little girl, little boy, and you were sick and your mother would give you something sweet that you really like and then she would put castor oil in it, medicine, and it would make you well. And you didn't even know that you were getting the castor oil, but you got well. Well, that's what we want to do. We want to meet you right where you are, giving you the good, clean, secular music, having a real good, clean, fun time, and give you some gospel in it to get you a renewed mind. C.H. Holy Ghost Production. This is for A.C. Holy Ghost Production. God bless you guys. And this, this goes, goes out, out to A.C. Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost Production tonight. we would like to go and visit with father to father as they communicate to teach young guys how to process information correctly we'll be right back you have your rules that you're gonna play fair we're gonna do it let's do it fair don't do this don't do that I told her personally don't say nothing about my mom it don't stop her <laughs> you know? but what, what am I gonna do you know so it's at the point where I've just developed thick skin so we talk, uh, we're talking about uh, losing our temper and women lose their temper too. So when we're losing our temper, we need to run, we need to escape it. But I think there's another great point here, and uh, it's down at the bottom. And I think when, when somebody starts crying, the conversation's over until they can regroup and get back in and start thinking straight again. So that's really on our side. If we get to the point where she's, uh, she's crying, uh, we can't bully the situation. We got to back away from it. Um, and then the other thing I think that you can negotiate, but you can negotiate in the heat of the passion, is this history thing. <coughs> so you can go. If we're going to argue, let's stay on the subject, and we'll define the subject at the beginning, and we'll try to stay with it as much as possible. If it digresses into a conversation about something else. Then you're, we're going to shut down, block, come back to it later. The Father to Father program is a good program. I can understand that over a period of time, like it wears on you because you got to work, you're trying to spend time with the kids. So it's a, it's a, it's a fight. I'm going to tell you, your fight does not end after you get the certificate. Even though I got my certificate a year ago, my fight with family court still continues. You know, I got this um, ministry that I work on called Trust and Faith Ministries. Now, other than Trust and Faith Ministries, where we do community and all the stuff, like I was just at North Charleston speaking in the community, um, like the chief of police and all of them, I got my BIGS project. It stands for the beginning is a good start. I started it because of this program. I don't get the time to spend the time with my son like I need to. Family court tells me that child support and visitation has nothing to do with each other. I don't understand why I argue with everybody in the court system about why is it that you enforce child support, but you don't enforce visitation? I myself watch numerous people before me and after me sit here as big as they were, as tough as they were, and cry that they didn't see their kids. And that's mostly what all the fathers in there want, really to see the kids. It gets to the point where you don't even want to pay the support because you feel like, well, if I pay the support, I should see my son or my daughter. It don't work like that. I'm in, I encountered a situation in April where DSS suspended my driver's license and my barber license. Now, mind you, I support father to father by giving people free haircuts when they don't have a job. So you get a voucher for Mr. Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins give you a voucher. You come over there, I give you haircuts for free. You know what I'm saying? In April, when they suspended my license, it took me 
all of 43 days to get the license back. And I paid the money in a week. And you can ask Caitlin. He said, Kenny, you got three weeks. I said, I'm not going to wait three weeks, man, because if they suspend my driver's license and I get pulled over, I got another situation. Okay, they suspend my license in April. I got it reinstated a week ago. I got another letter to come back in court again because of that same family court issue that's out of state. I called, went down DSS. DSS told me, well, we suspend your license because of this. And it was like, we're sorry it took so long. Okay. I was like, why am I being ruled back in? Well, Texas got an order and, they're enfor and we're enforcing it. I called Texas. They're like, we haven't touched your case in forever. You make consistent payments every week. If anybody's doing the depressing in South Carolina. So my question is, who's telling me the truth? Keep every receipt, keep every piece of paper that you got, that you got from somebody. Try to make sure they hold up their word with, with something in writing or something that you can have to, and when you go in family court, man, it's just you. Like I go back June the 4th. I had no license to work for a month, but I still had to make that payment. Listen, you can go in there with all the arguments you want. If you can put 50 cents on the books, put it there. If that's all you got, that's all you got. Hold tight. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. We're going to break for a little taste of honey. The soulful Edwina Goodwin. And now put your hands together for one of the regulars on AC Funtime Superstar. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, show your love for Lance Star. Yeah. 
drop out One day the bottom will drop out If you have any comments, would you please inbox Arthur Chisholm, he'll be riding a white horse, or either Elder Carly Town. We do need your input. And if you got any thoughts about the way you think we process information or the way we deliver it, we'd like to hear how you process. See what you think. We're going to break for a little taste of honey. Collie Town, Minister Julie Chisholm, I want to thank you for a job well done. AC Fun Time, and before we leave here, I'd just like to say that we are all in this thing together. Yeah. And until you realize that, we're going to continue to go backwards. You heard it first right here on the AC Fun Time Superstar. In behalf of Elder Collie Town, Minister Julie Chisholm, and yours truly, Arthur Chisholm, we'll see you on the other side. All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! Just about wraps it up for today, AC. And I've had a wonderful time, and I trust that you did. Elder Collie Town, what about you? AC, I must say it was a wonderful day. And you need to take what Courtney the Poet said wipe the lipstick off of your teeth. That's right, AC and Elder Collie Town could be coming around your town any minute, any day, any second. And we might just say to you, How are you? processing information don't forget hook us up on facebook let us know how you feel about processing information perception and emotion because most of us live in our emotion elder Collie town what can you say to the listening and viewing audience before leaving it yes i got it all intact my emotion and my perception and i want to tell you a little bit about the honey the honey is a sweet thing yeah the entertainment, the music, and then the casserole. The casserole, that's the gospel and the good information we got for you. They go together just right. Keep my emotions intact. Misty, keep up the good work. You're truly going places. And Courtney, you a bad MC girl. I yell that, Arthur. Bye. We got to go.